dug deep into the absorbing drama of Telltale's Walking Dead series, chances are that you'll be aware of the potential of episodic downloads. While it's now common, it wasn't always the case, and back in 2006, developer Valve surprised many with its decision to break up a sequel of Half-Life 2 into easily digestible chunks. How do Valve's first episodic sequel stand up today? I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnuses. Following directly on from Half-Life 2's explosive climax, Episode 1 begins with series hero Gordon Freeman being dug out of an early grave by robotic canine D-Zero-G. After an emotional reunion with Alex Vance, Freeman is whisked back into the remains of the Citadel to prevent the meltdown of its core, delaying the imminent annihilation of City 17. It's a mission fraught with danger, and one that leads directly into Episode 2, which details the pair's journey to the White Forest Resistance Base. Here, the human resistance makes a last stand within the dangerous woodlands surrounding the recently destroyed city. Two different adventures, each one bringing new weapons, enemies, and ideas to the Half-Life series. Let's head for the surface. Valve's desire to shake things up is immediately apparent at the start of Episode 1, notably with the evolution of Alex Vance. Already one of the most likeable characters in gaming history, Alex became even more important in Episode 1 thanks to improved AI and player interaction. Throughout all of Episode 1, Alex fights alongside Freeman, helping him solve puzzles and battle new villains such as grenade-touting Combine Zombies. As well as fleshing out the character of Alex Vance, Episode 1 saw Half-Life taking another sinister turn towards survival horror, with much of its playtime spent within dark underground facilities and dank ruins, where flashlight power was a limited resource and sparse ammo made the gravity gun more important than ever. My kin are still some distance away. In stark contrast to the horror of Episode 1, Episode 2 veered away from urban corridors and sewers of City 17 to the rural woodland areas of the White Forest Resistance Base. Here, Valve experimented with open-world gameplay, culminating in an epic final battle against an army of striders within one of the largest areas of the series. Episode 2 also addressed the lack of vehicle sections in Episode 1 by featuring an extended sequence where Freeman gets to speed like a maniac in a vintage Dodge. An increased amount of new physics puzzles rounded out the episode as the most ambitious slice of Half-Life to date. What the hell is happening? With their short lengths and an unresolved ending, it's easy to see why some fans have seen Valve's decision to release episodes rather than a fully-fledged sequel rather frustrating. However, when paired together and seen as two parts of one whole experience, the two episodes make for a decent, if unfinished, follow-up to Half-Life 2. Valve's desire to experiment with new ideas before releasing a full-on sequel is also something to be applauded. By complementing what we loved in Half-Life 2 with improved AI and a more ambitious scope, the additional episodes complement the main attraction as essential companion pieces. Playing through Half-Life 2's additional episodes is undeniably worthwhile, but the lack of a true ending almost six years on leaves something of a bad taste. With the success of co-op zombie brawler Left 4 Dead and ingenious Half-Life spin-offs Portal and Portal 2, Valve have seemingly forgotten about Gordon Freeman and locked away his crowbar in a crate marked Top Secret. With so much time having passed, it's unlikely that we'll ever see the missing Episode 3, but we're confident that Half-Life will continue. Valve took a massive risk by releasing its follow-up to Half-Life 2 in several episodic chunks. It's a risk that arguably paid off with two memorable experiences that are crammed with unique ideas and unforgettable moments. On the other hand, they're two games that feel like a build-up to a crescendo that never really comes, making playing Half-Life 2's episodes like discovering a new favourite TV series, only to discover that it's been cancelled. Hop in, Gordon. Let's hit the road. Yes. <laughs>